I'm going to show you how to use loops in order to calculate out Fibonacci numbers. So let's look at what Fibonacci numbers are. First of all, Fibonacci numbers are a sequence of numbers where you have one followed by one. And then you, for every later number, you add the previous two numbers. So one plus one is two. And then one plus two is three. And one, I mean, two plus three is five. And three plus five is eight. And five plus eight is 13. So you can get the idea of the pattern. So what I do is prompt the user, first of all, prompt for the highest possible. So just basically how high it can go. And then I want to display and calcu calculate up to that number. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So first I will need some variables. I'm gonna keep track of the previous two numbers. So int num one and num two. And I can actually initialize these numbers uh, in the very beginning because, well, they're, they're one and two. And they're both just one for value. So I'll go ahead and get started here. So uh, I also need to have another integer high. So the high number. Um, all right, here we go. So I will use a C out statement. Say how, how high do you want the Fibonacci sequence to go? And, and then I'll close this and display a new line. And then I'll read it into high. So standard CN into high. All right, now I want to start calculating out the number in the sequence. So the way I do that is I will have a while loop. So while, and this one is going to be as long as the numbers are less than the high number, I will be displaying them. So while num2 is less than or let's say less than or equal to the high number, then what am I going to do? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is probably just display the first two numbers. And, or maybe we can skip it for now. And I can just list these down um, one line a piece. So each one a separate line. So what I'll do is I will say that I'm going to print out the number two. So I will do a standard C out and I will say num two and then I will do a little end of line. All right, the next thing I want to do is I want to shift them. So I want to figure out, first of all, what is the new number going to be? Well, it's going to be one plus one in this case. So it's going to be number one plus number two. The problem is that number one needs to be equal to what number two was. And number two needs to be equal to what number one plus two was. And so you can't change everything at the same time. So you need some extra integer. So I do an int, maybe temp equal to, and I can choose what I want it to be. So I'll have temp equal to num one. And then I'm going to have a num one equal to num two. And then 
num2 is going to be equal to the previous one. So it's what num2 was, which is now num1, plus the temporary, which was the old temp or num1 thing. So temp. I could have done something like num0 or something like that. But either way. So now we've shifted them all. And then it should go through, and they're all basically incrementing. At this point, we should be able to test our program and see if it runs. So we go ahead and run the code. And let's say I want the Fibonacci sequence to go up to 100. And it prints out the numbers 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, and 89. And that is how you can calculate out the Fibonacci sequences with a while loop right here. And if you wanted to print the extra one in the front, you could just display it right here before you start the while loop. But there you go.